Xiu is once again got Schengen borders down and is welcoming international travellers. First time since March, 15 approved countries, not of course including China or the United States, all hoping to revive the economy. Uh, joining me now is Christianis Karins, the Latvian uh, Prime Minister, who joins me. Uh, Prime Minister, it is good to see you. Um, I was reading your comments the other day uh, at your news conference and you are basically saying, hang on, yes, we may have opened borders, but think twice before travelling to a foreign country. Why is that? Well, uh, we need to separate two things. We need to separate the economy uh, from the health of society. Uh, throughout this uh, pandemic crisis in, in our government, we have been listening to the epidemiologists. We've been listening to the advice of scientists. When we needed to shut things down, we did. When we needed to move down uh, to uh, two people, two meters, to keep social distancing, we did this actually even before our first fatality. So we reacted very quickly, listening to the specialists. Uh, then the specialists said that uh, the situation improved and we gradually uh, loosened things up, of course, uh, helping out the economy. Now, when we look uh, at a European-wide level, what we're doing in Latvia, we moved first with Lithuania and Estonia, our northern and southern neighbors. We created a travel bubble. Uh, this travel bubble has been expanded to almost all of the EU, and now the EU is expanding to more countries that are deemed uh, epidemiologically safe, that is, where the level of disease is roughly the same as it is in Europe. It has nothing to do with liking a country or not liking a country. It has everything to do with listening to the advice of the scientists, and I think that we have to do this during this, uh, uh, sure. uh, th this uh, health crisis, is uh, who else can we listen to? It, it should not be a matter of political opinion. It really right. should be up to the specialists. Now, if you look at the United States, and obviously there were unique factors in the US about the way the reopening took place. Europe is doing it in a much more considered and careful fashion. But you must clearly fear that what's happening in Texas, Arizona, California, Florida, even on a minor scale, could happen in Latvia. Uh, of course, we're, no one is protected. The fact that we're doing well right now, we're, we're, we're very happy about that. We have our society uh, to thank for that, for their f fantastic cooperation with the government. But we keep a weather eye on what's happening uh, elsewhere in the world, not only in the U.S., but in other regions. And we full well understand that at any time a new right. wave or, uh, uh, of, of disease uh, could swell up. So we're ready at any time, uh, if needed, to uh, change our uh, measures to be a little more restrictive than we are today. Right. So we haven't uh, decided that it's all behind us. Uh, it's only one, one, so we say one portion is behind us, and we're looking to the future. Uh, Prime Minister, um, what more would you like to see the European Commission and the, the European Centre do? And, and I know they've done a lot, and I don't need you to, re uh, with respect, remind me of what they've done. I I'm more focused now on what more do you want the EU to do? Well, what the EU needs to do is invest money. Uh, this crisis uh, is clearly different from, say, the one uh, 10 years ago. Uh, that was a crisis of, of needing to uh, um, more austerity, to uh, not be spendthrift. This is a completely different situation. My government is doing it. Other governments are doing it. We are borrowing money and investing, investing that into our economy. We're doing various reforms to make our state more efficient, to make services more efficient for our uh, citizens. But on the EU level, we need to invest the money. We need to think about uh, European solidarity, how to stick together through this storm, because any one country cannot weather it alone, neither pandemically nor economically. We work as a union when we stick together. This is the direction I think we're heading, and I think the, the uh, proposal by the European Commission for the 750 billion is a right direction. Uh, we need to invest these monies, but we need to inve invest these monies wisely. So we need to come out of the crisis, economically speaking, stronger than we were going in. A lot of this is borrowed money. We'll have to pay it back. So we need to make sure our economies are structured so that we can pay it back. 
Prime Minister, grateful that you've given us time very much, sir. Thank you very much. Uh, I, I, can, I can tell you so without fear or favour that I have always loved my visits to, uh, to your country, particularly to Riga, where I think I switched the Christmas lights on one year. So uh, thank you for taking the time to join us. I appreciate it. Thank you very much. I enjoyed speaking so with you again. Continue.